All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Sneaky Sasquatch Quick Guide. And in this one, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the guide on how to open up the Suki cache that's on the side of the hospital. This one has been brought to my attention a couple of times, and many people still are struggling trying to figure this one out. But uh, you know what? Let's just dive right in, and hopefully this guy is gonna make you guys understand how to open it up. And while you're also doing that, you're also gonna be finishing up quite a lot of things that are brand new in the hospital update. So let's do this. So first thing is first, in order to be able to get yourself the security cash on the side of the hospital, you are going to have to do quite a couple of things. It's not going to be an easy one, but just to give you a quick hint here, uh, basically in order to open up the cash on the side of the hospital, you are going to need the key. The key is actually inside the janitor. And when I say inside the janitor, yes, I mean inside his belly. In order to get that out, you're going to have to do quite a bit of work. So starting up with the first thing that you got to have to do is actually becoming a paramedic. Now, I've already created a guide on how to do this. Uh, you guys can find the video up here or here. I'm not quite sure exactly where, but I'm still going to get you through the uh, guide here. Basically, in order to become a paramedic, you are going to have to go ahead and chat with the paramedic. That's actually going to be uh, right next to the ambulance. Go ahead and chat with him and he is going to tell you that he is looking for a paramedic. Uh, but in order to become a paramedic or more like apply to become a paramedic, you are going to need uh, two things. First of all, you're going to need the license B, which I assume you already have. But of course, if you guys just barely started the game, you might not have that. So get a license B from the racetrack, of course, from the licenses shop. Also, you are going to need to have a little bit of experience in uh, driving taxis or delivery trucks. Uh, either one of those it works. So you can either go ahead and get yourself a uh, taxi license again from the same place as you get the B license for, uh, for the cars or a delivery truck uh, license that you're actually getting that one from uh, the uh, strip mall uh, from the delivery services. Grab one of those. Once you have both of them, you're finally going to be able to apply as a paramedic. Now, once you become a paramedic, this is just the first part done because you are going to have to actually be promoted as a paramedic again. So do enough jobs with the ambulance as a paramedic uh, until you get promoted. Of course, once you finish filling that bar up, go chat with the paramedic again and he's going to give you the promotion that you need. You just need one. You don't have to do all of them. Of course, I do recommend doing all of them because that is how you get the ambulance. But you just need one in order to actually be able to apply as a doctor. Now, applying as a doctor is not as easy either. Uh, basically, in order to become a doctor, go ahead and chat with the receptionist in the hospital. He will tell you that he would love to hire you as a doctor, but you will need to have experience in one medical services, which you already have if you finished up with the ambulance driving and got promoted at least once. But you will also have to have a little bit of experience in working in an office, meaning you're going to have to work at R Corp, of course, and start getting promoted there as well. Uh, these are two of the conditions that you're going to need in order to be able to uh, be hired as a doctor. But the most important one is going to be a medical diploma now in order to get that one you are gonna have to go ahead and chat with the head doctor and he will tell you that he got his 12 years of a uh, learning so what uh, we definitely don't have that in much time right so in order to get yourself a diploma he's gonna tell you that there are people selling the, the uh, medical diploma and all you're gonna have to do is make your way back home and make sure you're checking your TV in the shopping bonanza late at night uh, after 12 a.m. because that is when they're going to be selling the hospital diploma you're going to need. Once you go on that channel, you will see a phone number there. Just call that phone number, buy yourself the diploma, and uh, next day, you're going to have it. Make your way back to the hospital, give that one to the hospital receptionist, and voila, you just became a doctor. Now, once you did that, this is just going to be the end of part two of the tutorial here, because next up, you're going to have to go ahead and chat with the janitor in the hospital. Doing that will just get you acquainted with the janitor, and now you're going to be able to jump inside the uh, friend's book that you have and call the janitor and try to hang out with him as friends. He will want to do it, believe it or not, <laughs> although he just spoke with him just once. Once you do that, you don't have to go ahead and do any missions with him or become friends with him. Actually, go ahead and grab one of the gurneys, go back to the janitor and put the janitor on it, and then go inside the x-ray room. You're going to have to put the janitor on the bed, jump on the x-ray machine, and turn it on to check out on his belly. Uh, make sure you zoom on his belly, take a scan of that, because that is where the key for the secret cache is hidden. Once you got the x-ray scan, just give that scan to the janitor and he will finally figure out that uh, there's a key inside him. He has no idea how you made it in there, but uh, he's going to thank you for your help and he's finally going to become your friend. That's all you got to do in order to become friends with them. It's that easy. 
Now, the thing is, although you already know where the key for the cache is located, which is, of course, inside the stomach of the janitor, you cannot take it out just yet. Because if you're going to make your way to the surgeon and ask him to uh, do an operation on a friend, he's not going to want to. He's actually going to say that you have no patience at the moment to uh, do an operation on. So uh, you really cannot take out the key from the janitor's belly. In order to do that, you're actually going to have to do quite a lot of jobs as a doctor and get promoted three more times. And the reason you have to do that is because you got to become the junior to the head doctor in order for them to give you another perk. And this perk is you being able to bring your friends over for operation inside a hospital. So, of course, well, we're just going to fast forward through this one as you're going to try to do a lot of jobs at a hospital as a doctor. Keep on doing it until you get promoted and get yourself the final promotion. And once you do that, you can now finally call the janitor once again, hang out with them, go to the surgery room, and finally chat with the surgeon because now he's going to be able to operate on your friend's belly. Make sure you mark down his belly when uh, he's going to ask you to do that. Then he's going to go ahead and do the operation on him. And once that is done, chat with the surgeon and he's going to actually give you the key that he extracted from the janitor's belly. Using that, make your way outside, open up the cache, and there you have it. You finally did it. You finally got yourself the secret cache behind the hospital. Uh, another secret back there also, if you walk with Sasquatch behind the hospital, you're not going to be able to see this one, but apparently there is a hidden hole back there. If you have a shovel, you're going to be able to dig that out. And also, go ahead and chat with the janitor once again, because he is going to give you a second coin, just to say thank you for helping him out. Alright, and there we have it guys. I hope this guy is going to help you out. Uh, there is quite a bit of work you're going to have to do. Uh, also, working as a doctor to get yourself the final promotion. That is going to take you the longest time. But uh, I hope this guide helped you understand how to do it. And uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are brand new here. And I'll see you all next time soon. Alright, bye everybody.